Hello, this is Samuel from Action Figure Fury, and today I'm bringing you a video of the NECA Cult Classics, which I have in my collection, or a retrospective on the NECA Cult Classics, and these are the ones that I have in my collection. Uh, NECA Cult Classics was one of the most iconic lines that NECA did in the early, uh, I was about to say about 2004, 2005 to 2007, 2008, I'm not too sure how long the line existed exactly, but I know this is one of their most iconic lines that they, when they started out in the mid noughties they had these and they were fantastic as you can see i've got these ones here i do have a, um, a few missing i don't have the patrick bateman the tall man um I'm trying to think there's also the, the, you know two jasons and part two jason part seven jasons there's a few others I, I can't really recall at the moment which i don't have but um these are the ones in my collection um you don't know necker's cult classics was just, uh, was very similar to mcfarland's um movie maniacs line which each um, series consists of characters from various different um horror properties and um, i'm not too sure on the how these series which one was which from each series I, i'm not too sure my memory is a bit hazy on this but i know these are from various uh series and i have picked all these up for various prices also they did a hall of fame ones as well which were some of the figures like say like the the trick-or-treat sam here but with less accessories i'd say wouldn't come with the base or the um, or the pumpkins just coming into changeable head. Same with the uh, medieval ash over there. That one would have you know the, the Hall of Fame one wouldn't come with the base. It wouldn't come with the book. It would just come with the shotgun and the interchangeable head. So they, they did the stripped down version. They also they did those for quite a number of them. They also got the Hall, the Hall of Fame Part Seven one, which just came with the chain round his neck and the machete and the mask. That was all. So they had the more sort of stripped down versions. You can get them. They're quite hard to get in the secondary market. As are getting some of these on the secondary market is quite difficult. Oh, of course, I do remember there's another one. There's Esmar Ash as well from Army of Darkness, which I haven't got. Um, also from, uh, I should mention as well, the Sean, they also did a two-pack for Sean uh, with Ed from the Winchester scene towards the end of the film. They did that. I'm not too sure if that was part of the um, cult classics line or not. I'm not too sure. But also did a 12-inch version of um, of Sean as well. Um, they also did a re-release of the... Um, of the New Nightmare... Uh, Freddy, I think, came with a demon head instead of the alternate eye head. Um, I'm not too. I can't really remember if that was a Hall of Fame or it was just a, um, a exclusive version. I'm not too sure at the moment. My memory is a bit hazy um, at the moment on that. But I do, you know, recall seeing on the internet and eBay and various places like that and other YouTube channels I reviewed it and whatnot. But um, yeah, I do love the um, cult classics line. This is very much, you know, the Necker's what their retro line is now, you know, the cloth figures, I've got some of them up there. Um, that line's quite similar where they take more obscure characters um, from other horror properties and release figures of them, as the, you know, because obviously Neck was still out there, just did plastic, and obviously you wouldn't got, um, these days you wouldn't get figures from Bubba Hotep here, you got to see the Elvis and the, the Mummy. You wouldn't get these uh, regular figures today, because obviously this is a cult film, they would make uh, retro figures of them. So this was like a pre-date, precursor to the uh, Necker retro, which is another line I have loved, and I have uh, covered some most of my figures on there, but I've got some new additions, uh, a few new additions to that, which I may do reviews of uh, down the line. Anyway, um... I do dig this line a lot. Um, I'll probably show off the figures I haven't really shown on the channel before. Uh, I'll probably bring off Sean in first. Um, I really do like this. Uh, being British, it's nice to see Neck have released the film, and it's the figure from a, a British film. And um, I really do like this uh, Sean of the Dead figure. It looks really, really nice. My camera doesn't seem to too much. Seems to be too much light on it um, at the moment. Let's see if I can bring him in. See if it improves the overall. Bring the camera up just a little bit more. Um, very bright in here today. Um, it, it's not too bad. You can see the likeness to um, Sean Pegg. Uh, it, um, it's very, very good. No, Simon Pegg. Sorry, I forgot that. Yeah, Simon Pegg. The likeness to Simon Pegg is, is really, really nice on the head. It does look really good. The skin tone's great. It captures his uh, ginger hair and the goatee uh, beard he has. Really, really nice. Of course, he's got a bit of red on him. If you've seen the film. Really, really nice. He's got his little name tag there with the 4E... Let's say? 4E Electric. I think that's a, a quote. For, yeah, that's a reference to Day at Dawn and Dead because of Ken 4 was in that. Film. He's got his name there. Sean, got his tie, got his pants, got the shirt tucked in. A little bit of a stomach, the pants. You know, 
boots. Really, really nice looking figure. The only problem I have with this figure is that the, this arm, I think it's this arm, one of the arms has a tenacity to pop off. Um, other than that, this is a really, really good looking figure. I do like the base as well. I have to bring the figure back just a little bit. It's got another peg there. Um, you've got the records here from the, when they throw the vinyl records and the forks and stuff and broken records. So I've got his cricket bat in hand. He also has his nice little watch there, which is really, really nice. It's, it's a really well detailed figure. Really do like this. It's also kind of an interchangeable hand. I think it's for this hand where he's got the flowers for his mum. Which is really, really nice. Nice sculpt to it and paint. Yeah, it's very, very good. I'm not too sure when this one came out. Does that have it written on the belt? 2006. Yes, so about. I think the film counts 2005. This came out a year later. I think it's really, really nice. It does hold up pretty darn well. I'm not sure how much this costs on the secondary market now. This is not the rarest of the uh, NECA cult classics, but um, it's a really, really nice looking figure. I really do uh, do dig it a lot. Um, the other way of articulation is ball jointed head. He has ball jointed shoulders. He has swivels in the bice yeah, just under the shirt sleeves. Um, and he doesn't have anything else. Uh, no other articulation at all. He doesn't. Um, Really need it doesn't really need articulation again. This is a older, you know, more of the static um, pieces. I uh, should mention uh, with these older neck and cock classics, they did have the clear joints in the shoulders, um, so they had a tenacity to um, pop off. It's only happened to this figure. I will have a neck and classics. I've got in my collection, which of these uh, I don't have a problem with them at all. This is the only one that's had that problem, so I'm, I'm quite lucky, really. But um, it's a really, really nice looking figure. I'll probably show the base off as well. Take the figure off. The figure does stand pretty darn well on his own but he does tend to stick to this base very well um yeah also he comes with a removable vinyl record as well which you can hold in his hand and that hand i believe if you wanted to evil adam i want my money back i'm not, yeah, I'm not i think it's maybe i haven't seen the film for a while so i don't recall seeing it in that film but he also has a stack of other records in there these are removable and they do have uh NECA figures on them which is pretty cool so yes, yeah, that that comes off. Um, fits in there quite nicely. But this does um, does this pop off? I'm not too sure if this does or doesn't. I can't really recall now. But it's a nice. It's got some stickers on it. On this uh, vinyl box, really really nice. It's a really nice looking base. Got some broken vinyls there. And vinyl right here. Really really nice base. I do like this one. Like a bit of grass coming through, cracks in the pavement. Really really nice. Do some forks and knives there. Really, really good looking base, a really good looking figure. If you can get this figure for a, for a decent price, I uh, it doesn't. If you were curious to know, no, the figure doesn't fit. The feet don't fit on both pegs, so you can't, you know, you can have that figure, um, that peg covered up. So you know, it doesn't fit on the two pegs, only fits on one peg, but that's not much of a problem. Another figure I'll probably show in because I've done reviews of the Bubba Hotep and the. Um, and the Ash, I'll probably show off the new Nightmare Freddy more. I know they recently, with this new Nightmare Freddy, is this, how is there a problem with that, that base? Because it only has one peg. Um, I know that they recently, a couple of years ago, did a sort of redo of this figure, which I would like to get with the leg articulation. Like more of the ultimate style, which I would like to get. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's in the fetch the secondary market. But I missed it at the moment, but I'd like to get my hands on it. And they also did a really cool retro figure, which I would love to get my hands on. Um, I may get that down the line if it's for a decent price. I'll have to have a look. Um, hopefully, uh, when this whole thing blows over, I can go to um, the NECA Lady and Frank and Sons and pick it up there for a good price. Because I did have it there, and it did look really good. I'm not too sure how much it fetches in the UK. And again, I'm very curious. You know, it's very strange with the NECA... Uh, retro figures, some of them are really expensive here in the UK, some you can get quite easily, some you can't at all, um, so I'd like, I'd have to keep my eyes on it, but I'd like to get the um, retro version of this, but I do love this figure a lot, it's a really nice looking figure, uh, for an older NECA piece, it's really, really good the sculpt is great, um, I'll move the accessories out of the way for the time being, including the hat, um, the sculpt the makeup from the film is really good, I haven't seen the film yet, uh, I've got it, but I haven't seen it yet I do like the makeup in the film it does show off really well on this figure, you can see. Really, really nice. I can see why NECA didn't really have to update the... the, the, the I know they think I did a new paint where it's a bit more um, wet looking, I think, for the new one. But I didn't remember change the scape. I think they just changed the paint on it, or the uh, the plastic. But it's a really, really good looking uh, figure. The makeup from that Freddie had in the film. Really, really nice. I do love the bone glove. I do love that a lot. You can even see some sores in the hand there. Really, really nice looking figure. He's got the... Uh, 
Uh, of course, he's got his striped jumper, the more pronounced red bits on top of the green, and also inside the coat, he's got the uh, striped uh, motif continues, which is nice. He's got these nice thigh, sort of, uh, not thigh high boots, but you know, but, you know, shin high boots, which are really, really cool, very military style looking boots, which he had very unique look for Freddy in the film. Do dig it a lot. I think they're fair up. I do like this base. I haven't seen the film, but I think this space is from the finale of the film. And uh, this one does have quite a bit of articulation, this Freddy Krueger figure. Um, he has a board joint in the head, board jointed shoulders, swivel elbows, uh, swivel wrists on both, unlike I'm sure just had the one because of the, the hand, and uh, swivels in the thighs. And it doesn't, does he have a swivel in the waist? No, he doesn't have a swivel of the waist. So he doesn't have much in the way of articulation. But then again, he doesn't really need uh, that much in the way of articulation. For a thing. It does look, it's a really nice looking static piece. Looks great on the shelf. The base looks really good. I do like the uh, snakes. You can see at the bottom here in this broken pillar. Really nice detailing of paint on it. Looks really, really nice. I do dig this figure quite a lot. In the way of accessories, he comes with a script from The New Nightmare. No, nothing on the better side of it, I'm afraid. But just the, this is the film script you can see. If you bring it in really, really closely, you can read the actual text, which is pretty darn cool for an accessory. Uh, quite a nice looking script. It comes with that. He also comes with his uh, iconic fedora. This is more green because the other ones tend to be uh, a bit more on the uh, brown side. This one's a bit more green. It does fit his head pretty well, but I mostly have it off because he doesn't. Yeah, I don't think he had the hat much on in the film. Uh, well, I prefer him with that because I, I do like the sculpts. You can see it more. So. Um, and he also comes with an interchangeable head. Um, this one's very similar to the other head. I think it's just very much. Hold on, I need to. Doesn't want to focus on the head for some reason. It just. Shoot. Hold on. Come on. There we go. See the eyes are a bit more. Oh. Damn. Just was about to get it as well. Where'd that go? Need to find it now. Uh, bear with me, please. Sorry about this. Back now. Um, yeah, um, had some trouble there. But you can see the detail on the head. One's eyes fit further out. Teeth look good. Nice sores in the head. Nice detailing on it. it does look fantastic. It does seem to want to focus now, which is nice. So, really, really nice looking head. I do approve that one because the eyes are more straight and more grimacing looking. So. I much prefer that one, but you know, overall, very, very good looking fee. If you can get this in the secondary market, if you really want the base, you know, everything, highly recommended. I think the base also comes with the one with the demon head as well. I think, I believe, um, that was just a variant. Uh, but highly recommend the figure. If you haven't got it, or haven't got any new Nightmare figures um, in your collection, I would recommend this one, or the retro one, or the newer version they did. I like to get both of those as well, because I'm a big Freddy Krueger fan, and they're missing in my collection. It's a really, really nice looking piece overall. I do uh, dig it a lot. Uh, the other new one I'll probably bring in to show uh, more of would be the Sam, Trick or Treat Sam. I am a big fan of Trick or Treat. Um, so when this figure was the only NECA figure on the market for it, I hunted it down high and low trying to get it. And um, I'm very thankful I did. I managed to snag this on eBay for a pretty decent price on a bidding Um very very happy with it. of course now uh, NECA have also released a retro version which I do have which I haven't unboxed yet and the uh, ultimate version which I haven't unboxed yet either I'm definitely going to do reviews of those on this channel in the near future because I'm just mixing up you know everything now I'm going to do a mix of uh, old old reviews and uh, new reviews and whatnot um, actually let's move Freddy Krueger to a different side um, get in the way there Yeah, let's just move him to the side so we can uh, get a good look at put Sam in front of the centre. This was the only Sam figure you could get for a while until uh, NECA released two uh, fantastic figures le last year, the Ultimate and the Retro, which I will be reviewing on this channel in the near future. I haven't unboxed them yet, but um, I'm really looking forward to them. I've heard great things about them. Got them for very good, really good prices, so definitely review those. But this was the first Sam they released, and um, this was a grail for my collection. So after seeing the film, I fell in love with this character, the mascot. Sam, I you know, I had to have the figure, and I was very thankful to get it, and it still holds up for an older piece. It still holds up, you know, for the most part. It's a really, really nice looking figure. You can see it's quite shorter than the others, because again, it's a child, dynamic child, you know, creature. Um, so it's a lot shorter than the others, and the sculpting is absolutely fantastic. You can see all the patchworks on the 
yeah, the sort of the pajama suit he has on here. He's got his little half gloves on, the, the stitching and everything else, and the burlap sack is really, really nice. I do like this, you know. Uh, probably shove the accessories a little while later on. Let's just move those out of the way. Came with quite a lot of accessories for a, for a like a cult classic. This one came with quite a lot. Well, I'll keep them on the base, but you just get us to have a good look at them. I do like the little buttonhole button eyes. Which looks really, really nice. You see the, the, the cross across the face makes a little sort of smile. Of course, this bit opens up in the film. That you know, you know, if you know, you've seen the film, you know what I mean. There's more burlap detail on the gloves there. Really, really nice. The base is good too. I have it stuck to the base. I'll turn them around. See the one well, of the pajamas. It's a really, really nice looking figure. This was uh, one of my favourite Nega Cult classic pieces in my collection, and the grey old pieces. Well, this and the Ash and the Bubba Hotep uh, ones are you know the, the grey old pieces in this collection. The ones I was really after, and I'm very, very happy to have them. Um, really, really nice looking figure overall and uh, the way of articulation he doesn't have too much this is um one of the ones that doesn't have much articulation he has a enough it has a ball joint in the head a little bit sort of hindered by the sculpt of the bird up sack over which is understandable uh, it has a ball joint shoulder in this um, so he can go up a little bit it's a bit stiff um goes forward and backwards he's got a little ball joint in this arm here and that's it for the way of articulation. There's no other articulation in this uh, Sam figure. Well, he does have um, hold on, swivel here and a swivel there. So he has, yeah, so he's got swivels there as well in the wrist as well. That's all he has. There's no other articulation on him. And Frankie doesn't really need it because it's more of this sort of pre-posed uh, look. He does come with some really cool accessories. As you can see, I've got the little, in this hand here, I do have his uh, knife slash lollipop. I do love the sculptors. You can see the sort of red band in it. You know the black banding around the around the, uh, the stick, and also you know, see the half smart. You know, where it had a big bite out of it, make it a weapon. Looks really, really nice. And this one here, as in this hand here, he has his chocolate bar uh, knife. You see a little knife poking out here, the chocolate. I'm not too sure what it's meant to be. It looks like a Snickers to me here in the UK. It's really nice. You can see that he's got ripped or torn away the the uh, packaging. No, the wrapping of it, with the blade sticking through, is a really, really nice looking accessory. Really, really nice. That's in the way of weapons. Um, he also comes with decoration for the base, because it recreates the poster. He's got the uh, flaming um, jack-o'-lantern, which you can either put here or here. He also comes with another normal, sinister looking jack-o'-lantern, no light, no effect. I know this new one has a light effect on, which is pretty sweet. And he also comes with his bloody uh, uh, snap... Um, Trick or treat bag. We don't know what's in here, but it's very, very bloody as you can see. And it fits on this little slot on the back there where it fits in nicely. He also comes with the interchangeable head. This is what the accessory I really like the most is the, um, well, his actual uh, visage is exposed. So you can actually see what, he, well, what it looks like beneath the mask. I have to say, I was pretty impressed with the reveal of um, Sam. The detailing on this pumpkin like head is fantastic. The eyes look great, nice and shiny. They like the facial expression, the pumpkin sort of marrow looks, looks absolutely fantastic. The paint on it's great as well. I haven't really looked at the new one, Ultimate Version, to see how the paint compares yet, but I'll probably do a comparison to it in the review. Really, really nice looking figure. Really do like this head. It easily pops on and off. Um, same articulations, just, you know, on neck joint, on a board joint in the neck, so get a lot of motion, range of motion out of it. It's a really nice figure. If you can get this, um, if you can get the Sam, if you're a big fan of Sam, regardless of the new one, this one is still worth getting alone. For the base, you know, all the little leaves on everything and worth getting. And for, yeah, it came with the same accessories, but if you're a big trick or treat fan or a Sam fan, this is still a must have, even if, you know, got the Superior Ultimate and the, the you know, the Retro, this is still worth having because, you know, it's, a, it's an important release, you know, because this film, I think this figure came out way before the film because I think the film was meant to schedule, schedule to come out in 2007, got delayed to 2009, so I think the figure came out a couple of years before the film, um, which is, which, well, back then was quite strange. And again, I think. Am I correct? Yeah, oh, 2008. Yes, yeah, so just one year before the actual film came, got straight to video release. Shame, really, because it's an absolutely fantastic film. If you haven't seen Trick or Treat, I highly recommend doing so. It's a great uh, horror anthology film. I'm still hoping for a second one. Really do dig it, and I do love the mascot, Sam, so very, very happy to have that in my collection. Um, as you know, I've covered... Um, 
Bubba Hotep and you know uh, kind of Bubba Hotep the Bubba Hotep figures on this channel before and the um, Ash but more mostly brought them into show. I still do love these uh, figures, especially the medieval Ash because I'm still like, hoping that Necker. Um, do Army of Darkness probably get a recent Ultimate Army of Darkness Ash or some Ultimate Darkness uh, Army of Darkness Ash figures down the line? I'd love to see that. You know, the film may be coming up uh, a couple of years time, the 30th anniversary. Maybe we get something. You never know. Hopefully, once this whole thing dies down, we'll probably get some uh, more Army of Darkness stuff. But I do love this figure. I've covered it before on the channel, so I'm not going to cover it right now. But it's a fantastic piece. If you're a big Bruce Campbell fan like myself. This is a must-have, you know, it's a really good-looking figure, fantastic base, great accessories with the shotgun, the Necronomicon, and the um, alternate head, you know, this head here, which goes to the side. Really, really nice. This is a fantastic figure. It is one of my grail pieces. Another one of my grail pieces was the um, much less known Bubba Hotep film. If you haven't seen Bubba Hotep, I highly recommend it. Bruce Campbell and Ozzy Davison are fantastic. These two figures are fantastic. They go together where you can have the face off. I've covered them before on this channel, so I'm not really covering them now. But they are you know, one of my grail pieces of sculpt and paint on them are fantastic. They really are static pieces just to be displayed together. Um, but highly, highly recommend doing so. If you're interested, I've got other older NECA figures in my collection. I've got some of the Kill Bill stuff and uh, the Pirates of Caribbean stuff. See so if you want to go. I want me to review some of those uh, figures which I've got. Just uh, comment down below. I'll definitely review some older Necker pieces. I've got quite a number of them, and I'm more than happy to review them. Anyway, guys, this will do this for this uh, retrospective um, video on my um, Necker Cult Classic collection. I hope you really enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, plenty more content to come. And bye for now.